My name is Eric Geisler. I'm the Chief Technical Officer at Global Objects. My name is Joseph Young. I go by Joyo as well. I am one of the 3D artists here at Global Objects as well as the drone pilot on the capture team. So Global Objects, our mission is digitizing the world. It starts with scanning. So we have terrestrial scanning, aerial scanning, uh, both of LiDAR, photogrammetry. So we're really into capturing reality. Our business model is to build a library of those items for use in media entertainment, simulation, and for training future AI, generative AI systems. Global Objects typically uses Maya in all of its workflows. Maya primarily because our artists are trained on it. I started with pretty much just traditional art. Uh, my mother was an artist, so painting, drawing, things like that. And that's when I heard about Kopi and got to see it and test it out live. Just the ability to have uh, a device that I could easily attain, use in my house or in the studio here, wherever I need to, and have an immediate uh, just input to that to that animation that I can then integrate into the characters I'm working on. We've only been using Makopi for a little bit of time. Uh, it, it's fairly new. We saw it at SIGGRAPH. The demo at SIGGRAPH was blew my mind, like, like something that was so small and so inexpensive could be so powerful for somebody in, in our shoes where you're using it for animation. It just it felt very accessible and, and just very exciting uh, at the potential of the projects that now I can do a lot better and easier. Having the Makopi system incorporated to Maya and hearing about that was definitely a pro for me. Um, I have worked in multiple 3D packages, but Maya was the one I started in. It's always the one I'm going to know the best, and, and it's native to me. So being able to, to have now this system that was already exciting me and was already great in the package that I originally grew up learning, I think it just, it, it was just the icing on the cake. And that is the power of something like Makopi, because you don't have to plan and budget and bring people together and do a shoot and do all this stuff. You can just throw something on and give it a try. And that shortening the time for an artist to be able to iterate is really important to quality. Getting started with Makopi was, was very easy. Um, it, it's pretty much as simple as opening the box, right? The instructions were very straightforward. It, it was very few steps. But now putting this in the hands of anybody to be able to use it, that's something completely innovative because now uh, an influencer can use motion capture. It's, it's simply that simple. You can put on these markers, they come in a nice little package, you just connect them up to your wrist, to your head, to your hips, and to your, your joints, and you're off and running. Being open to ideas like Makoki and, and things that can do what you need to do much faster and more efficiently, I think that'll help in anyone's 3D career, and that's, that's why I'm excited to be in this industry and have products like this to, to work with. It's incredible what, how simple it is to use, how uh, something that has traditionally been so very complicated is now very easy.